Hi there, Muscle Real Estate Dude. And here, early 2024, we're talking about building a business and taking your business to the next level this year. And one of the things I want you to do is I want you to make a couple of lists. There's two different lists here to make, right? The first list you're going to say, let's make a list of the things that you do well. And then I want you to make a list of the things you don't do well. And then once you take that list of what you do do well, I want you to put a circle around the things that you do well and you like. And I want you to have the list of the things you don't do well and you don't like put a circle around those things also. See, there's times in business when you just say, like, I have to do everything. You're like, here's people, it's like, I'm the cook and the chef and the bottle washer and the floor sweeper and the toilet scrubber and the check-in person, a check-out person, a roofing maintenance person. Like, that is not the best way to be the best. To be the best chef, you wanna be focused on being a chef, right? So a lot of people will say, well, Russ, you've got to minimize your weaknesses. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to do way better if you find the things that you do well and the things you like to do and double down on those. The people that are on this third list, particularly the ones that are circled, you want to find somebody else to do those things for you. You want to pay somebody if you can to do those things for you because then it frees you up to be able to do what you love. Because being in a state of bliss and enjoying life is way more powerful when you're working on one and two than when you're trying to minimize number three. So to improve your life quality right out of the gate, figure out what's on list one and two. And then what's on list number three, focus on one and two. And then start finding ways of getting other people to do three. By the way, there's people out there who love to do things that I don't love to do. Let's find them, either partner with them or pay them to do the things I don't want to do. The second list I want you guys to jump into is three more things here. Number one, what are the things I need to do more? Go back in the last year and figure out what's worked for you, what's working for you. Secondly, what are the things I need to do less? Just listening to an Ed Milet podcast yesterday and he's saying, I'm going to do 85% less social media on this and this social media because flatly it's just pissing me off all the time and I want to go through every day pissed off. So I'm going to stay up, stay in tune and stay in perspective and understand what's going on, but I'm going to cut that down by 85%. I'm going to do something more. You're going to do something less. The people in your life that aren't making your life better, you want to spend less time with them and spend more time with the people that are making your life better. If reading makes you better and you enjoy that more, do more of that, right? And then there's certain things you're going to do different. I've been doing this over and over and over and over and over. Just because you've always done it like that doesn't mean you need to keep doing it like that. So there's certain things you want to do different. Make a list of those things right now and start focusing on the things you need to do more also, just as key, the things you need to do less. Very few people will benefit by adding more stuff to their plate to make it more simple. They'll actually simplify better by taking stuff off their plate. So take off the things that aren't working and the things you don't like to do. Okay, That's two different lists that you can make to take your business to the next level for 2024 or any year you guys see this. If you see this at 2035, same stuff, different day. We're still going to be human. So make sure you're doing these things. Figure out what your best advantage is. Become the best you. And your year's going to be a lot better. Russ Lagg and Real Estate Dude, catch you on the other side. See ya.